this is very important video and here we are going to use the important nest js testing feature create mock so in the last video we have already done the testing of http service by creating a simple mock object now in this video we are going to see how can we use create mock instead of creating our own mock version create mock is a method from the library and another scenario is let's say we have a service which has a 10 dependencies then instead of writing the 10 different mock object 10 different mock providers for those services how can we fix it just by using uh, use mock or create mock that is the important aspect and these features are being used after nestjs 8.x so this part we have already done like we have this nestjs service which was talking to a service which was actually talking to the http apis and returning the observable so we have to write the mock we have to mock the http service and though the mock interface was also returning the observable okay now the next thing i mean the part two of this is we are going to talk about the same kind of example here we are going to we are accessing the pokemon api using axios and it is returning promises so how can we mock it we are going to use this create mock or auto mock utility which is provided by nestjs and it is simplifying the mocking process with the complete typescript definition so that is really important and this is how we are mocking these days so this is my simple service if i show you this is pokemon service it has a get pokemon method which is checking the id and throwing bad request exception and then here it is making a exios call it is not using observable if you do exios http service dot get then it is returning observable but if you want to do it in the way of promise then use the exios reference and then define your method and a url so this is like if you don't want to use observables and return the promise and then you can use async await then in that case you can just use exios reference and then it will work in like your old way of dealing with the promises and if the data is there then we are returning data dot species dot name so this is the actual api call right it is making this uh, mock api i mean it's like a dummy api available online to get the pokemon uh, data here we are going to test this so we can test the get pokemon by passing the wrong ids it should return bad request exception we can also test another thing like okay it is returning data but the name property is not there so it will return internal server exception and we need we can check the mock like uh, when you are calling it we will mock the http interface dot get then only it should be able to resolve this api call okay let's write the test for it so this is the library we are going to use to create a mock level app ts test i mean it is a special package that is designed to create a test for guard interceptors and filters and it really works in simplified way it creates the mock with the whole typescript definitions like if you are creating a mock of http service you should be able to get all the type definitions under the hood so you can uh, do everything so here i mean these are the examples but we will see the the real thing in the code so here what we are doing is we have testing module we have pokemon service so i'm trying to override the implementation of http service i mean this is how we have done in the last video like here i will try to open the cat spec this is what we have done right http service and use value i explicitly created a mock version of this http service so when you do http service dot get put post they were replaced with these just mock functions but what is the other way other way is simplifying the testing like this uh, here you can just call the create mock and provide the http service so here i didn't define okay http service as a get put post delete patch methods under the hood this create mock utility will be able to handle all the mocking of all the methods defined inside HTTP service like here we can see get put post delete patch all the HTTP verbs right all will be mocked 
So this is the only change we have done from our previous implementation for over I mean mocking this HTTP service. Now you got the Pokemon service and HTTP service. Now we can write the, the rest of the tests. So by doing this, what the advantage you see here? Now let's say I got the service instance and I'm calling get Pokemon. This is service and I'm calling get Pokemon method. So in this, while doing this, I don't need to really mock the HTTP service dot get method, right? Because that is already happening when I'm doing using create mock. So HTTP service has already been replaced by the mock version. So here Pokemon service dot get Pokemon zero. I mean, for this particular case, obviously it will throw an exception, right? Because you are passing the ID zero. And we already know that if ID is less than 0 and 1, it will throw an error. Now, the second test case. So here we will also mock the second example can be very simple. Here we will just increase the value to 152. Right. Then it will throw an error. Now, let's try to write the test case where we are mocking the actual service. Partner ID is good and access apis okay get pokemon let's say i'm passing id1 what should really happens here i need to create a mock so what i can do is http service dot exios reference so here this exios reference is available because i am using create mock mock return value once and this is what we are returning and what it should return actually the same thing data headers config object and all so let me see this so here we are calling just uh, exios reference mock return value once and we are returning this data now we can call the pokemon service dot get pokemon this is the we did the mock and now we are calling the actual method now we just need to compare that whatever we have specified the value inside a mock the name is a bulbasaur is it coming after calling the get pokemon or not because this method is returning the pokemon name right so just compare if pokemon name is coming get pokemon resolve to be alvasor so if i just try to change it and try to run the test thing is let's say another test uh, which are simple exios reference mock return value once this get pokemon one and here we are calling one this is unexpected data so in that case, what should happen? Because data is not an object, it should throw. Here, data is not an object. Data dot species won't be there, so it would throw internal server exception. So I think we are just checking when it is rejecting it. The instance should be of internal server exception, right? So the basic tests we are doing in the same way, but here we have changed how we are mocking using create mock. So the important aspect here is this HTTP service is of type deep mock. I mean, deep mock is just a type exposed so that this HTTP service instance can also have all the type definitions which are required for HTTP service. So we are doing HTTP service dot exus reference dot all the types are available. So it is easy for developers to navigate in the properties. Now this is create mock. What is uh, use mock? I mean, what is use mock and auto mock that we can check here in this pack. I mean, let's say if this Pokemon service is dependent on is using 10 different services. So let's say this is the scenario. Pokemon service is using the cache service, elastic search service, or maybe any kind of search service, then how your tests would look like. I mean, at the end, you would be doing something like this. And here you will call service one. I mean, the actual services cache service and create mock of that cache service then here it is elk service i mean same as you will be keep repeating this thing to have all the mock versions of the dependencies which are added in the pokemon service how can we get rid of this i mean this is one way of doing it but if there is a 10 different dependencies then it's too much for the tests so the another special way of doing it is use mocker. What use mocker utility is doing is it is mocking all the dependencies which has been added. So here in this test, 
I'm not explicitly uh, defining the mock mocking of HTTP service. I just said providers so, and use mocker. So what use mocker will do? Use mocker will create a create mock of all the dependencies which are there for Pokemon service. So it's a really nice and beautiful utility that is giving me the mock implementation of all the services. I don't need to write it manually in the provide block each and every time. So here I have updated the same test. I'm just using a use mocker here, create mock. So create mock is applied on all the dependencies of this testing module. And here we are doing the same thing, testing uh, Pokemon service defined. Pokemon service will through a bad request passing when you are passing ID zero, when you are passing ID greater than 151, it is again bad request exception. And same here, we are mocking the mock resolved value once and we are comparing the data. Here it is returning internal server exception and we are asserting it. So nothing has changed in the tests, but we are not uh, putting the list of providers and their create mock versions using use mock, use mocker. Use mocker is actually resolving that thing for you. So this is really important uh, video for how we do the mocking of external interface, external service, any external storage service and how we can use create mock and use mocker.